Welcome everyone. In this lesson, we'll be creating the data collection needed for our Conversations app. We'll be creating two collections, one called Conversations and another called Messages. In the Conversations collection, we'll need two new fields, one for the name of the conversation and a second field for the initial behavior. In the Messages collection, we'll create four fields, a field for type, a field for message, a field for the timestamp, and a field for the conversation ID. So let's get started by going to the project menu of our app and then data collections. And we'll create our two new data collections here. First one for conversations. And we'll go ahead and create our two new fields for name and for initial behavior. The name field will just be a way for the user to identify a conversation. The initial behavior is where we'll tell our bot how to initially respond to our user's chats. So this will be something along the lines of a helpful assistant or a sarcastic reluctant assistant. Let's close this collection We'll create another new collection called Messages. And in here, we'll create four new fields. Type, Message, Timestamp, and Conversation ID. The Type field will be filled in with one of three values, user, assistant, or system. When a user of your app sends a new message, it will be recorded in the messages collection with type user, and the message will be the prompt that the user sent. When the AI responds back, another record will be created in the messages collection of type assistant and the response will be stored in the message. Anytime those records are created, a special timestamp field will be filled in with what's called a Unix timestamp, which makes it really easy to sort the data properly. By putting that as an editable field, it also allows for you to insert additional messages inside of the conversation. And then conversation ID, which we'll drag over as well, is what will associate each message to a particular conversation to keep everything in order. The type, message, and timestamp fields can all remain as text fields. But for conversation ID, we're going to change the field type to be collection relationship. We'll select our conversations collection and the name field as the display field. So this will make it to where inside of the data that we're storing the conversation ID, but when we view that data here in the studio, we'll be able to see the name of the conversation for each message. So that's it for setting up the data collections for our new project. In the next lesson, we'll get to work building out the UI that lives on top of that data. Thanks for watching.